Shabako Chitapa. Ororo. So one day, God came down to see Adam. Adam is naturally satisfied. But he needs an helper. Everything Adam is supposed to do, he could not do it well. Because there was no helper. There are two types of helper. The pusher and the puller. The pusher and the puller. It's either somebody is pulling you or pushing you. If your helper is a puller and is behind you, he will pull you down. You don't get me. Some of you listen to me. Ah, uh, can I get come, 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 brother? Stay here. If, if the helper is behind you and he's a puller, he brings you down. If he's a pusher, he pushes you. So you need an helper. The first set of helper is the helper that is above you, that is higher than you, pulling you to follow him. Never you look for help from somebody you are higher than because he is going to pull you down. You are not getting me. You are not getting me. Some of you are going to share your problem with somebody that cannot counsel you, that cannot help you. What are you as a married woman? Be with a lady that is not married. Asking her to counsel you. Is she married? Does she have experience? She is going to pull you. She will pull you. She can't help you. She cannot. She looks like an helper, but she is a puller. If I must seek for the help of somebody that is a puller, he must be ahead of me, dragging me forward. And hear me. If I am going to look for a pusher, I'm looking for a supporter. A supporter. I'm not sharing all my problem with the person, but I'm recruiting the person to support the motion. I just need some parts, some few people as followers to support me. Not because they have the ability to pull me, but their minimal support is needed. And that's what politicians do. They need the pushers. They are already made. But they need your little, little vote to push them to the position. So you call them, they call you followers. So you are the supporters. Your vote here, vote here, vote here, vote here, push them to where they are. So when they come to meet you and they praise you, they are looking for your little push to get them there. Every man came out of the dead. Follow me. Every man came out from the dead. If you have not seen your trash, then you are not ready. And God caused a deep sleep to fall in upon the man. And out of the side rib of the man, he took the woman out. Hear me, sisters. And I want you to hear me where. There was no account in the Bible that says God formed you out of dust. Mm-mm. There was no account. God took a rib from the side of the man to make you. The other raw material, where it comes from, the Bible never told us about it. The only thing the Bible said about you was that he took from the side rib of a man to make you. And I will talk to men now. And that was all. That's why your appearance, everything about you is completely tender. Because I believe your raw material is supernatural. The only thing that came from the earth that God used was the rib of a man. The other product came from a supernatural wing. Women don't know how powerful they are. You don't know how powerful. You came out of God. God, God understand if I must send an helper, the helper must
must not be terrestrial must be celestial the emperor must not be natural must be supernatural and then i am going to take a connecting wire the rip from the man that god planted in the woman is a wire for knowability technology accessibility connectivity and the ability for the woman to understand the man and that is why because the woman came from the internal organs of the man so each time a woman look at a man she can assess she can prophesy she can feel the past she can tell the man what the man does not know about himself because one of the missing rib of the man was is inside the man the man does not know his internal configuration but the woman is the external configuration that came from the internal configuration of the man the way the woman is behaving that is how you are supposed to behave that is what your missing rib is telling you she tells you honey calm down calm down the real you he's saying calm down calm down because she came out from you you don't know yourself the woman is helping you to know yourself oh you don't get me shut up woman what do you know i am a man i am a man i have to be in charge i know you are a man but i am sent for such a time where you are angry to help you the male have 12 pair of ribs others will say 11 pair i mean 11 or 13 pair but the major is 12 pair of ribs which is about 24 ribs and god took one but the man doesn't understand the remaining 11 because if she can understand the functionality of the one outside the remaining 11 he will understand how to use it if god took from one rib to empower a life the remaining 11 rib what do you think will happen you don't understand yourself church is quiet the man is the only species that does not understand himself and at the same time does not want to know himself and the man is forever living in fear of discovering himself because he's too egocentric to give himself to knowledge the man is the most proud element on earth that thinks he knows but he knows nothing he dies fighting the wrong direction and not facing the right direction he fights his wife he fights his children he never built relationship with his children in his lifetime and end up losing connectivity the man is the only species that we want all through his life and not connect his resources to his children to his wife but he will connect it to wrong direction because he doesn't know his wiring now the serpent was more subtle than the beast of the field which the lord god made and he said unto the woman yea had god not said ye shall not eat of every three of the garden now the serpent is more subtle meaning more cunning more wiser and even jesus said be gentle as the dove and be wise as the serpent this is the wisdom of the serpent the snake is the only animal that will be present and not announce its present. <laughs> it's the only animal that will be around you and not announce its present. The snake is a natural humble animal in nature but dangerous in pride. You don't understand why Jesus said you should be wise as a serpent. It will never show up that it's present. And when it wants to hit you, it eats you in the place where you never know. It strikes you and run away. The strength of the snake is hide and seek. He hides, it hides, and runs away. The snake will never announce its presence. The presence of a snake in your life is not arrogance, it's gentility. Women, because your nature, you love anything gentle, soft, 
fragile friendly the devil will bring that to you that a man is very gentle he talks like the holy spirit you see it as your nature you say the man is a good man and that is why most dangerous men that deceive women come in subtle words poems they write you poems that your real husband can write you they whisper to you love song and they call you all manner of name they go into the studio for you to compose song because they know you like gentility you like softness you like sweetness you like everything praise so they come in in that nature because they know that is what you want and that is why 99 casanovas deceivers they come in this nature they give you all the love songs and attention that you don't need and they come in softly there are so many of you that there are snakes in your garden and yet Adam is present but you have not shown Adam your snake you have kept quiet for your snake to be around you and the snake is technically taking the position of Adam just is quiet I can see the sisters are going down now they are going down now please put verse 1 Genesis 3 1 and now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field just because he is gentle just because he reads poem for you don't forget he's a beast he is a beast Adam might not read poem for you Adam might not sing songs for you but he's not a beast he is a man a beast is a beast and if you want to see a beast manifestation you will see an anaconda when it is time for an anaconda to stink you to swallow you and to enjoy you the fact that the guy is gentle, friendly, giving you attention, relating with you each time Adam leaves the garden and go for work, does it make him a human being? A beast is a beast. Church is quiet. 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 My husband, you don't have time for me. But I have to work to take care of you. I thought you should understand me because you came from me. Because you met me from death. And I have to do the work. And you are today to compliment me. Why are you complaining when you are supposed to hold the own front? When I go to the war front. Why are you complaining when I'm supposed to go to the war front and you are supposed to hold the home front? When you don't understand that the reason why you came is because you are sent to compliment me when I am down. The place you are complaining about that your husband has not done well, that is your assignment to help him. If you don't do that assignment, you are not an helper, you are a leper. I thought you were supposed to do everything husband but i just discovered that where you are lacking behind is where i am sent to help most women don't understand whenever you complain about your place of help you have dispersonified yourself of your purpose and assignment of being in that life take a deep breath honey we are to pay the house rent. I have one million. Can you please loan me with 200,000? I'm not going to do that. Last time I did that, you did not give me the 200. Sir, ma, why are you an helper? Church is quiet. Church is quiet. I thought you came to help me. I thought you came to help me. I thought you came to help me. You came to help me. Because God knows by my configuration, there's going to be a point I might not be able to act as a man. So when you ever you are helping me, it is not a pride. It's your assignment in my life. As a man, when your wife is helping you, supporting at the own front, and do, never you feel less. 
it is an assignment because God knows there is going to be a time you will go deep down so that the helper will come until your strength come. Never you feel bad if your woman heart is stronger than you. It was designed that way. From the beginning, it was not so. God brought her for such a time to strengthen your heart. She is not being proud. She was orchestrated by God to compliment you. Don't fight your helper. If your wife's heart is strong, that is your joy. She is playing a role. It is not a pride. Don't say because you have small money. You are not proven as if you are big. No! Don't kill her spirit. Don't kill her soul. She is helping you, kneeling down, honoring you. You should be grateful that you married a real woman. <laughs>